Star Wars Episode 8, The Last Jedi director Ryan Johnson said don't watch this trailer, but then he changed his mind and we all watched it and it was great. Take a look. We are the spark that'll light the fire that'll burn the first order down. is not going to go the way you think for Phil. Your destiny. Ah! <laughs> That's how I feel about it. I liked it a lot. I think I, it looks fun. I wanted to fight it, but I, I loved it. Um, so obviously I just porged out. Um, yeah. There's porgs, there's ice foxes of some sort. Those ice foxes look freaking adorable. That looks like something out of an anime. I didn't want to love them, but I do. (laughs) Buy everything with them on it. I just say also, like people who are complaining, like, oh, it looks too cute. Like the same people who complained about BB 8 in the trailers for, for the last movie, like, oh, it looks like they just put a cute thing here for kids but like have you not met and also have you not met r2d2 yeah the, yeah one of the cutest robots ever like did you not see that chewbacca uh, is just a walking puppy but also like, when i on. watch this <laughs> to get more more on track and yeah. just ignore the i have to get the cuteness out of the way first mm. um i was getting chills looking at carrie fisher oh. force sensing her son in that, that trailer and see what this trailer does is like there there are certain trailers out there where it just what it's really telling you is there will be a fight. Mm-hmm. And that's pretty much all it tells you. Like, hey, we got, here are a couple of people, and then there's gonna be a fight. Mm-hmm. And the skies are gonna be red, it's gonna be a lot of CGI, and there's gonna be a fight. Whereas here, yeah, there's gonna be a fight, but everything they show us in the fight also reminds us, and people, and, and emotions, stakes. and stakes, emotional stakes. Mom is facing off against the oh. son who killed dad. I mean, we know outside of the context, they don't have much footage of Carrie after Right, this. right. So I've been worrying and worrying that they would kill Princess Leia off in this, in this episode. And I mean, this could just be a bait and switch. Sure. Uh, but we also have a lot of other things going on as well. It looks like Snoke is talking to Kylo Ren. Kylo Ren seems to be the last beacon of Darkness. Darkness, and also Ray is reaching out to him, uh, which probably excited all of the Raylo. Um, oh, of course, uh, absolutely, shippers. that excited them. <laughs> I get that. Sure. I think they're related, but okay, <laughs> whatever. Um, I don't think they're related. I also I think too much is going on about trying to connect Ray to someone we already know. Like I would actually be really satisfied if Ray's parents are just two Ray really does. cool students of Luke's that. We never met before, or two people like we never met before, but who have their own history and story. Mark Hamill is really exciting me in this. He he says the he line. He seems so good. Uh, this is not the going the way you think it yeah. will. Paraphrased. I've only watched this about five times. I haven't memorized everything yeah. yet. Um, <laughs> And it's just, he, well, faced with what he said in interviews of the first time I read this, I disagreed with him fundamentally on every level. This is, well, it didn't go the way he thought it would go at yeah. least. And that makes me interested in what's going to happen because I don't know what's going to happen. Yeah. Usually you can kind of predict this is the way it's going to go. Sure. This person has to achieve blank in order to do blank. Right. We also have a little bit of Finn who seems, is he wearing a first order uniform? Yeah, he's got this really sweet outfit on. That it's cool, but it's, what it's is very it cool, from? but what is it? Like is he, did he, did he infiltrate again? Did he like maybe act like no, I was I was just lost. I'm back. Like no, I'm not. And and just like turn around on it. Like uh, psych traitor. Yeah, but also just how he's standing, how he's carrying himself. This is not a wide-eyed. Oh my God, I have a name, Finn from the first movie. Like this is Finn who's stepping into his role and is like being a proactive controller of his own life, who's walking up to Phasma, not just I nervously. And trash talking you now that Han Solo and and all of us got the drop on you. Like, no, this is I'm stepping up to you. We're gonna have a straight up battle with not Chewbacca at my side. Gone is the goofy dude wearing his friend's jacket from the yeah, first movie. Yeah. Um, yeah, he's he's a little bit of a wild card for me too. Which is I'm not really sure what he's doing or what his motivations are yeah. at this point. I mean, he's got to figure that out. Like, I, I would be I would actually be disappointed if he's 
doesn't have some still regrets or doubts about it. Because the fact is, like he was indoctrinated into this. He he grew up as a stormtrooper for his whole life, mm -hmm. and you know his first friend is the dude who killed one of his fellow stormtroopers. The 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 guy that leaves his bloody handprint mm -hmm. on Finn was killed by Poe. Like it's it's such an interesting uh, character growth. Like I I mean Finn. Is is so yeah. The everyone's everyone's got such a fascinating arc, and the trailer reminds you of all these arcs, and I think that's great. I did, yeah. I kind of forgot, though. I do think Poe is going to go the way I think he will, which is he's going to be straight up resistance. Yeah. Uh, follow General Leia. Mm -hmm. um, but I like that about him. So. Yeah, there's some there's some folks who know at an early age, like at an early time in their lives, like what they're all about, and Poe is that dude. Like he he doesn't have any doubts about the resistance or what he's doing. He's just fly forward and aim straight. I would love to see Captain Phasma get more screen time because yes. I, I thought she was hyped up so high before the movie, and we thought, oh, Gwendolyn Christie, she's so badass. It was, and then it was she barely the same, did anything. It was the same trap that Darth Maul and uh, Boba Fett fell into, uh -huh. where Boba Fett got hyped up during like. Okay, he was cool in Empire Strikes Back, but then he got hyped up with toys and comic books and uh, the, that the weird white Boba Fett in the cartoon. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and and then and then we got to Return of the Jedi and oh and and Han and Boba are about to face off, and it just it ended because Boba wasn't looking behind him, and he just smashes his face into a sailboat in the sky and then falls into a mouth, uh. and that was that was it. And I kept waiting. And I, as a kid, like, oh, he's gonna show up on Endor, and he's gonna be all messed up. But he came back for Han. He crawled out. No, no, he didn't. Endor only had teddy bears. Yep. And even though I did call them cute crass marketing tools, I am for sure buying Porg and BB-8 merchandise. More Porg and BB-8 merchandise. <laughs> You're looking the wrong way, camera. He's over here now. <laughs> Audience, are you pumped for Star Wars Episode Eight? I already bought my tickets. Please let me know below and please like and subscribe for more. May the Porg be with you.